What's up guys, this is Josh and in today's video we are doing something which everybody requested me for. So today we will be setting up a Facebook pixel in our Shopify store. Uh, we will be setting up the Facebook pixel actually in business manager at the Facebook end and we will be triggering all the pixels in order to start receiving data from them. So are you ready guys? Are you ready? So get right into it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna squish myself in the corner again and have those video, uh, have me speak from this corner and the video is gonna play up top. So let's go now and dive right into it. So the next thing that you see is my screen like so. Boom. So I have an incognito window open, one of those. And second, I have already started a new ad account. Like you see guys, I already have it pulled up. So in order to create a pixel, first thing that you need is a Facebook account, a business Facebook account, and then you go to business.facebook.com and you create an ad account. Once you create an ad account, you go into like right up top here and you go to pixels. Once you click on pixels, this page is going to open, select the pixel that you really want to work on on the top left corner right here. So we are doing this and we're calling it pixel tutorial. So we're gonna create a pixel here. It's very simple, just Facebook name it for you because it kind of makes sense most of the time. Hit next and it's going to create a code for you that you could email to your developer, which we are not doing because we are entrepreneurs and we're going to actually keep it lean to the bone. So it's going to create us a code and there are two ways of doing it. You could use an integration and go to Shopify, but what I'm actually teaching you is how to do this. So I'm going to go back, copy, the pay, copy and paste it. So actually the blue thing that you see right over here. The blue link if you see right in between FBQINIT right here. When I remove the cursor you see that is actually our Facebook pixel. So once you have this just copy the code and we will go up here and paste it. Once you paste it like I told you our code is right here is our code. So we're going to copy the code and hit command C copy it. So for this, we will actually go into Shopify.com, boom, then get started and we're going to create an account. So we're going to go yash at wisdomified.com and I'm going to give it a password and we're going to name it the store pixel. Mm. So pixel taken obviously, so pixel tutorial would make more sense, create store. So it's going to set it up for us and all of the cool stuff I suggest doing it different kind of ways but this is how it is okay so we're gonna choose what we are doing so I'm, I'm just like I sell I'm not selling products yet let's just choose whatever it really doesn't make a diff yes. Yes. so boom our store is ready now so what we have to do first thing is go into online store click on preferences so it's online store preferences two steps you and first second third the third thing is facebook pixel id so it's the same pixel id that we copied from right in the middle so one two zero six six one two zero six one one eight one two seven seven zero nine six three is what we're going to put here so one two zero six one one eight one eight two seven seven zero nine six three so this is our facebook pixel so we can hit save so it actually should have reverted back so we're going to go back here and see this theme in order for the pixel to actually fire once so we're going to come back here and it should be working now so let's check pixel status and close so you're going to go back and refresh it you could use command r to refresh on a chrome browser boom it's active now because you see it turned green and it is working it says last received a trigger in the past hour after this we will create a product Let's just name the product test. We are creating a product so we could have the pixel trigger when someone clicks on the product and we could track that. So if you, you should have a product so you don't have to do this step. We just have to trigger the pixel. We're gonna create the product and view it here. So this is a product, test product. It looks really plain because it didn't do anything to it. So we come back here to our pixels, click. It's gonna reload it. Uh, we could start creating conversion pixels. So what happened initially when there was no Facebook pixel and we used to use conversion tracking pixel, that was like the old school tracking way. 
So we would create a conversion tracking for every step of the way. So we will do one for add to cart, we will do one for purchase, one to view a product, one to view a particular product, but now you don't have to do that anymore. Facebook has made it very simple for us. So you simply go here when you're in your main page and under the tutorial, like the pixel tutorial pixel, create uncreate conversion so it's gonna ask you how do you want to track it so you could do track custom conversions my bad i would suggest track it with custom conversions you click on it and over here it says url contains you're gonna put in backslash product and hit enter so what that does actually is look we're opening a product over here so this is our domain name up till here and this part right over here says products and this part says product. So it's actually gonna fire every time there's something over here which has product or products. So I suggest when you create products, now that in your Shopify store, you do not name them with, like the handle should not consist any product word because that's gonna make more sense because if it's gonna create products in it, it is not gonna actually trigger the pixel right. So that being done, we have the test product and we have this. So we're going to say what kind of category is it? It's just view content. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to name it view product and create it. This is the simplest way to do it. And you've already created it. We're going to try to trigger this one more time and it should be tracked now. So let's see if it's tracking it. So guys, now we want to see the product is act if the pixel is actually tracking so for that we will go into the right corner here and say view usage and it's going to show the custom conversion that we have selected i'm going to hit see all so it shows us all of the pixels that we have it's going to load so look, look right here we have view product so view content is a category your contains product pixel tutorial la 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 and it's active then we're going to create a next one and we will name it collections say if you want to send your uh, send your audience to a particular collection and you want to track them this is when you will use this kind of conversion so again you will come here and you do view content and then go here view uh, view collection the same way you uh, say you have a uh, legging collection so you could do view over there do legging hyphen collection and save that So it's gonna say no activity yet because we do not have it triggering nothing is gonna trigger it so we're gonna go back to our Shopify store and create a collection and actually we can we, uh, there's one that comes with it so we can just hit view and look it has collections it should trigger this now so let's command R it and look it says active so it's tracking collections now and it's tracking products now so we're gonna create a next custom conversion and we will do URL contains cart. Choose a category, add to cart, hit next. So I name it A to C, that means add to cart, hit create. So it's gonna create it, but it is not gonna actually show you any status because it's not active yet. So you're gonna go here and we will go here, open this product in the browser and hit add to cart. It's gonna add it to cart and it should trigger this pixel right here. It did because right now we are this the cart on the top left uh, in the URL section actually triggers this because this is the rule the rule says if the URL contains cart then it should trigger so it's actually working the same way you're gonna create a next custom conversion for checkout and you could do checkouts checkouts because there are two ways it's happening and you could do initiate checkout next and do initiate checkout only if I know how to spell it create done and create custom conversion and then we're gonna create a last one which will track your actual purchase so you're gonna go thank you because this is the page that's gonna actually this is the URL that actually it lands on when someone buys a product from Shopify and we're gonna do come gonna say purchase we're gonna hit next 
and it's gonna show purchase hit create so this is what it is. We, uh, initially, you need about five uh, pixel convert custom conversions or five pixels pixel tracking because you want to track add to cart. You want to track uh, when someone views a product. You want to track when someone views a particular collection, and you want to track when someone initiates a checkout and when someone buys. So this is about it, guys. I have tried to keep this video short, simple, and I know. I don't sound upbeat and all of that cool today because I don't feel too well. I'm a little under the weather, but there is no excuse for no video. And if you have any questions and any concerns about this, ask me and I'm ready to help. Uh, shoot me a comment in the comment section. I'll try to read the comment. I always read my comments. I'll read your comment and I'll respond to that. And if you have any questions, ask me. So for my last video, click here. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and peace. Boom.